My name is Derek Yule, and um, what I'm up here to do is introduce our next partner onto the stage, okay, our next speaker. So um, Matt, that'll be Matt Simpson, of course, from uh, Megaport. So um, uh, Matt is the uh, head of a global strategy and also sets the direction for the Megaport uh, cloud exchange. Now, Megaport is, a, is a, one of our uh, very strong partners in the Direct Connect space. So their mission is to uh, set, um, to help enterprises and also technology partners manage the move to cloud. So um, what he'll also spend a bit of time on stage today is um, helping clear up um, and uh, give you a better understanding of the different options that you have for connecting into AWS and also the benefits of working for Megaport specifically for the AWS Direct Connect service. So without further ado, let me hand it over to Matt. Please give him a, a warm welcome. Thanks, Derek. Good afternoon, all. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, it, I feel like I'm following my favorite rock band around as a bit of a cargo, following around um, a few other parts of the group. So, good to be here. Um, talking about direct now, so we got a couple of partners, uh, Direct Connect. Yeah. Is that better? Okay, we're clear. <laughs> I think our batteries were a bit, little bit low. So maybe I'll just, this one? Are we testing, are we right? Stand by, Madonna? Okay, okay, fantastic. So what I'll talk about today is Direct Connect, a couple of options for you, what it means to your business, and maybe use a couple of uh, use cases for Direct Connect, whether it be uh, you're considering moving to AWS or whether you might already be using AWS and uh, your existing connection to AWS environments is a little bit slow and maybe inconsistent. So um, I'll be covering that off. I'll be keeping it quite simple and also demonstrating live how you can actually establish a private connection uh, in length one to two minutes. Um, so I'll be demonstrating using our online portal. This first graph, of course, is quite pretty. Um, it's really just outlining uh, the adoption to cloud. So back in 2013, uh, there was approximately 46% uh, in a traditional data center uh, establishment or your existing infrastructure. And over the last couple of years, that shift has certainly changed. And AWS, of course, is the leader in that change. So by 2018, they're predicting that just over 76% will have migrated to cloud. So whether you like it or not, uh, if you're a network engineer, uh, that's your problem to hopefully solve. Um, and I guess you've probably got a lot of CIOs out there saying we need to adopt cloud. So. With your existing, I guess, connections to cloud, it's been a little bit hard to, I guess, find out where those cloud providers are, and then trying to piece together uh, the connectivity to that. So as Direct Connect is, it's a, a private connectivity model. Now, Direct Connect obviously bypasses the internet, so you have two options. You either choose to go over the public internet or you bypass the internet and have your own private dedicated connection. And Megaport, of course, is that private and dedicated connection. What does Direct Connect mean to you? It means that you'll have a consistent network. You'll have an increase of throughput. So uh, with AWS, you can have up to 10 gigabits. Uh, and then, of course, you've also it's highly secure. Now, in, in the traditional world, you need to work, work out where those Direct Connect locations are. The problem that Megaport is actually solving is globally location isn't of importance anymore. Megaport can take you from one location to a Direct, direct Connect location globally in less than a couple of minutes. And what we've tried to do is simplify that process. 
So traditionally, uh, I guess the way you would buy and, and sell networks, and, and if there's any resellers in the, in the room or, or partners, you might be traditionally have to establish a, a relationship with your account manager at, say, a, a carrier, whether it be Telstra, Singtel, um, Starhub, and you would enter a contract. That contract, of course, might be a 12, 24 months, and you negotiate a fairly good price uh, for the bandwidth that you require. Now, in that time, and particularly back on that slide where we spoke about the adoption to cloud, your needs may have changed. So you've ordered 100 megabits today, but tomorrow you might need a gig. Well, the traditional way is that you would have to go back again, negotiate that contract, and by the time you do that, you've, you've lost a few weeks in time. So what is Megaport? Megaport's problem, the, the, what we're solving is that you can rapidly uh, scale your bandwidth in real time. So any changes that you make within our online portal happen in real time. Our value proposition to market is that there's no locking contracts. It complements the AWS business model that it's a pure network as a service. So what does that look like? How do I get onto Megaport? So essentially, to get onto Megaport, it would be either a one gig or a 10 gig port. Now that port is your interface, and that interface is served as, I guess, a, an 802.1Q VLAN trunk. And on that port, we establish what we call a virtual cross-connection. And that virtual cross-connection is where you can privately connect to AWS for as little as an hour, a day, a week, a year, whatever your needs are. So what are the, the most common uh, areas of, of using Direct Connect? Um, it might be a, a once-off data center migration. So you might be looking to push everything over to EC2 for compute and storage. We had a, a perfect example back home in Australia where ES, ESPN, the sports channel, uh, were shutting down some of their legacy facilities and needed to quickly move uh, large amounts of data. Now, they were able to establish a connection with Megaport within 48 hours, and they were able to start pushing through up to 10 gigabits an hour. Uh, over that course, they were pushing across um, and were able to do that over a three-month period. Now, they walked away from that uh, with no penalties, um, and they were able to shut that, that service down. Another uh, use case might be that uh, you're looking for consistency on, in your network. So the latency might be a little bit slower using the public internet, and you're looking to you know, interconnect with Direct Connect. Or it could be that you've got a hybrid cloud solution. So whether you need public and private or both, or whether you had legacy uh, data center facilities where you want to keep some on-prem and a little bit up in the cloud, or you're even testing some new environments. Um, I can't keep up with the amount of products uh, that AWS has. I think it, last time I heard it was about 580. So this is a perfect example of where you might be wanting to run a few tests. So bringing the fabric to the enterprise, what does that mean? Uh, with Megaport, anyone can actually interconnect on our ecosystem. So we have a wide range of technology partners from Technology One um, to Fujitsu uh, and then also Rackspace. And what those partners are actually doing is exposing some of their services on our ecosystem, which of course is uh, underlying with AWS infrastructure. The other part is that you can plan, manage, and deploy using our online portal. So any changes, of course, it's 100% software-based. Any changes that you make happen in real time. And if you don't want to use a portal, we've got APIs specifically for that. So this pretty graph uh, or diagram is just showing you how we deliver our Direct Connect. So this might be customer A. We're in, uh, we may be in Global Switch, or we could be in DRT here in Singapore, and we're needing to get to the AWS region uh, and 
The good thing is they're now in Global Switch and Equinix. But you're struggling, you know, the price is pretty expensive for a lease line here. So, um, you know, you, you're thinking of thousands of dollars just for a one gig connection. The second part, of course, is you select your one gig or 10 gig port, and on that port is where you would essentially establish your VLAN. That VLAN, again, is the virtual cross connection. In this environment here, I've got a customer that has a VLAN off to our internet exchange for pulling some content from some of our CDNs, but also another VLAN going off to a public environment, whether it be S3, and another private environment to uh, particularly EC2. These are all configured and managed completely different, and each VLAN or each virtual cross-connection, the bandwidth is managed inv individually as well. So I could have 100 megabits off to my private environment, I could have 50 megabits off to my public, and then off to another um, particular cloud provider if we want to. So the biggest, the biggest value, I, I guess, from Megaport and what differentiates us to some other Direct Connect partners is that we started off with the software layer. Whilst we have a carrier license and we may be regarded as a telco, we actually are more about software. Um, and our business is very much uh, driven as a software company. So what does that mean? That means that from the handy iPhone, we said that you should be able to establish a private connection to AWS using your iPhone. And if you can't do that, then we have to start again. So the benefit of Megaport is that you can, whilst you may be sitting down, relaxing uh, in front of the TV, order a connection to AWS and have that private live um, without leaving uh, your lounge room. What that does is it talks right down to our network hardware. So it is our own network, it is our own uh, routers and switches, and then of course it all sits on a RESTful API. So from an integration perspective, if you're looking to monitor your bandwidth utilization, if you actually want to automate and scale the bandwidth, you can do that through a set of APIs. So public versus private, it, this is really just recapping on what the differences are and, and what that means to you when you're establishing these connections. So private, it's your own private IP uh, where it's uh, permitted. You have a private ASN and that's what we require. Uh, and there's no prefixes uh, listed and it's instant. It's 59 seconds uh, and you'll have that connection live. With a public environment, there is a manual approval process with AWS, so it, will, it is a 24 to 48 hour uh, turnaround. VPC networking, so of course the virtual gateway uh, is the center of the VPC. Um, you can have multiple connections of each type. Uh, it is supported and it's through BGP uh, sessions. Now of course, with that, uh, a virtual gateway, uh, of course, is that virtual router. So the virtual router um, is where you would normally select uh, the, the AWS speed that you're looking at getting on their end. With Megaport, with our API integration, you actually don't need to actually log into the AWS console. You log in through the Megaport portal and we'll push all of that through for you. Sim again, simplifying that process. The virtual gateway can also terminate uh, in more than one Direct Connect location, so for redundancy policies. And I'll probably use a, a bit of a case study. So back home in Australia, um, there was a case of one of the data centers going down for about four to five hours. Um, luckily, in uh, Sydney, there is two Direct Connect locations. Now, if you only had your one Direct Connect location up and running, you would have been down for four to five hours. With Megaport, you can act simply virtually cross-connect to the second Direct Connect location and have that up and running within one to two minutes. Now in Singapore, the beauty is you've got Global Switch and Equinix, and Megaport provides the choice of both. You access exactly the same instances from both those locations, but you have the choice to either to interconnect for both for redundancy or just the one, depending on what your situation is. 
So virtual cross-connection, again, that's just recapping on what that is presented um, to AWS. Now, that is, of course, an 802.1aq VLAN for some of those uh, nerds out there that are really network savvy. Um, again, that can be done as little as an hour. So today, I could start off at 10 megabits. And in the case of failover, I could spin it up for 10 gigabits for a whole hour and then spin it back down again. So what I'm going to do is actually show you a quick demonstration on how you're going to order this service and how it will push through to the console. So Mr. Music Man, I might flip us over to my laptop, please. Hopefully not too many of you are on the Wi-Fi, so it'll be pretty quickly. So this is the portal. Um, anyone can actually access our portal. Again, it's like we call it the online uh, shopping for networks. So you can go into megaport.al is the URL. If you haven't got time to establish a username and password, you can actually access this through your social media logins, so using your Facebook account. For anyone that's worried about security, uh, we do have two-factor authentication. So the first step is that I want to create my Megaport. So that is where we're going to pick up Megaport from. I'm going to call it a name, so we might call this Singapore Test. I'll select my location. So here right now, um, Megaport is available in Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Singapore, and North America. So today, we are going to select my location. In Singapore, we can pick you up in DRT Equinix, Equinix SG2, or Global Switch. Don't be worried if you're not in any of those four data centers, they are carrier neutral, which means that if you, can't, if you're, if you don't have facilities in that f particular data center, then you can order either a fiber tail or an ethernet tail to us, and we'll give you those exact DMARCs. We're going to select DRT. Choose my term. So I can do a one month, I can do 12, 24 months. We do give slight discounts, but it's entirely up to you. If you select a month, we're not going to terminate it, uh, your service after 30 days. It'll just keep rolling over until you tell it to terminate. You select your interface. So 10 gig. Um, I always start off with 10 gig. One gig is a bit 2013. You can pop in a promo code if we have a promo code. And down here, down below, you'll see that it's going to cost me 500 US dollars per month. So I'm going to add that to the cart. So I've added it to the cart. It's like a mobile phone. It's not going to do anything. It's simply just getting you onto the Megaport fabric. So you'll need to actually look at where you want to connect to. So in this case, I'm selecting Amazon. And I've got my location here, which is going to terminate in Equinix. I can select whether I want a public or a private connection. And again, I can name it for purposes. So in the case of News Corp, they have over 50 VPCs running across Megaport, which means that it's 50 individual connections. You will actually start to lose momentum on which connection is where. This is really handy for naming conventions. Now, this is where I can put in my bandwidth speed. I'm going to select 101 megabits, but today I'm going to do a whole gig because I'm feeling lucky. Pop in my VLAN ID, and here is our price, $200. Now, in Singapore, the beauty is, because AWS Direct Connect is in the same metro, you've got up to 10 gigabits to play with for 200 bucks. Now, we do provide it in US dollars, or if you prefer Sing dollars, we also provide Sing dollars. I pop in my AWS service title, Pop in a private ASN, my AWS account ID. So I'm just going to flick over to my console and grab my account. Ooh, the Wi Fi is slow. There we go. I'm just going to copy and paste my account ID, flip back to the console. Whoops. Leave the BGP blank, because we'll pull that for you. Add it to the cart. 
and start deploying that service. Check out. The little Megaport rocket uh, spins around. Am I ready to deploy? Am I happy with the pricing? Uh, am I going to make the move? Yes, I am. I'm going to start deploying now. Okay, so we're going to flip back to the console. We're going to jump into Direct Connect. Now, of course, that takes a couple of minutes for it to push through as an API call. And we are actually going to wait, do a little tap dance, and wait for that uh, Direct Connection to come through. Whilst we're waiting for that, uh, I just wanted to highlight, because uh, of course, this is Singapore, but your organization might also have points of presence in other locations around the world. And not only is Direct Connect, they're in certain locations, but it could be a little bit hard for you to get to those Direct Connect locations. So if there's anyone in here that has maybe Hong Kong or Australia or even New Zealand, we can connect you in the same amount of time. So in Hong Kong, uh, the, the charges work on a per megabit basis, and I can start from one megabit in increments of one megabit as well. So I could have 11 megabits between Hong Kong and Singapore. I'll just refresh that again. Round of applause, here it is. So right here, all I have to do is tick that I understand that I'm resp responsible for the data transfer charges for, for AWS, and I can accept the virtual interface and I am live and ready to go for my private connection. It's as simple as that. We've really simplified that, mi that model of getting connected to AWS. So if I could flip back to uh, the slides. So just recapping on the portal, I can uh, outline and look at my billing. I can also look at my bandwidth utilization. I can manage my speeds at any time and jump back into the portal. Um, I can even expose some of my own services. So if you're a technology partner working with AWS, you can actually expose your services in our ecosystem in the same way that AWS does. This is a perfect example. News Corp came to us, uh, not based on the fact that they couldn't get to Direct Connect, but the trouble that they were facing was that they were buying chunks of bandwidth and they had no control of the costs Plus, also, they didn't actually understand where those requirements were coming from in their organization. With the Megaport solution, they are able to establish their primary and secondary connections through Megaport. And they have 40 VPCs, which has doubled, which is 80 today. And through that environment, they're actually able to individually manage the speeds, but also from the API economy, work out which departments are requesting which instance um, and are able to departmentalize some of that costing. So enabled locations, as you know, uh, AWS are, are spinning up new Direct Connect locations globally quite rapidly. Uh, we have got all AWS Direct Connect locations in North America, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia. Uh, and we will be rolling out across Europe, which includes London, Amsterdam, Ireland, uh, Finland, Germany, Italy, uh, by the end of June. These are our existing locations. So right now we have uh, 70 on-net locations where you can pick up a Megaport. Once you're on Megaport, for instance, uh, you want to pick up another service within Singapore, it's quite easy with that virtual cross-connection. So back home in Australia, where we've got 35 uh, data centers interconnected, you can take one port and connect to all 35 areas. That's me. Thank you very much for your time.